everybody. Thank you guys so much for coming out as the City of Waterloo launches the Bird e-scooters here in downtown. Mayor, I'm gonna let you say all the words because this was a project right. that you, we talked about, but you right. came to me with this company, so. All right, that's good when you can go to the Main Street director <laughs> and say, here, <laughs> and then she'll run with it, no. But really, we're excited to have Bird. You know, when I was in San Antonio, um, I had an opportunity to ride a scooter uh, and it was a great way to be able to see downtown. It was incredible. And then when Bird reached out, uh, we just thought it was a natural fit and a great partnership. So Jessica and all of us organized some of our partners with um, uh, um, uh, Grove Cedar, no, Experience Waterloo, uh, Main Street, the city, and so many other partners. So we're absolutely thankful to have this day is finally here. So e-scooters is coming to Waterloo, but uh, we have our fleet manager. I was wondering, do you want to introduce yourself and you know tell us your expectations as well? Uh, uh, my name's Craig Bennett. I'm a fleet working the fleet manager with Birds. Uh, you know, just keep the scooters up in running conditions, you know, the way they're supposed to be. Um, I've always had faith in this project and, you know, getting e-scooters here in Waterloo um, is the idea I thought bringing here two years ago is how I got involved with being a fleet manager so soon. So um, I think it's a great thing for Waterloo and I'm glad it's finally, finally here. So. And, and to add to his point, we're excited that you're here. We're excited that you're fleet manager and we know we'll never have to call you. <laughs> to come and get them up. We have Council McRider here uh, as, as well, so we want to thank you for uh, being here also. But just really in conclusion, when you take a look at downtown Waterloo and all the amenities, uh, the ability to have e-scooters kind of make us all interconnected to be able to get one part of our downtown to another to see all the great things that we have is really exciting. So I'm going to stop talking and we're going to cut this ribbon and then uh, I think I get to ride a scooter, and then we all get to we ride scooters. And don't laugh, uh, <laughs> but this is a really exciting day. So you want to grab that? So what did we say, Bird? Yeah, about yeah. Bird. One, two, one. So on the count of three, uh, let's all say Bird. One, two, two three, three, Bird. 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 All right. Awesome. Get one on there. And push off, and then push, push that. <laughs> It feels great to finally be able to launch the Bird e-scooters in downtown. We're really excited to have this and this new mobility and attraction for downtown Waterloo. Why bring these to Waterloo? I mean, why not, <laughs> right? If you take a look at our, at our downtown area and the areas that we are trying to connect, too long to walk, but close enough where you don't necessarily need to drive. And to be able to connect all of our facilities like this is very important. I mean, we have an incredible museum district. Uh, we have a convention center. We have restaurants. We have retail. But we have so many things that connect us, and being able to go from here to there is going to be uh, incredible. And the tourism things that we have here locally as well are driving to get a meal because you're parked at a hotel. You can get everywhere you need to get very fast and expediently. So I, I'm, I'm excited. So pretty much this is the QR code, so you'll download the Bird app, uh, go to the QR code, and then you'll start everything and set up there. Uh, so then once you uh, start, uh, you'll get one foot planted on there. Uh, it's always a kickoff, and then as you're pushing down on the accelerator, some you can just go on. Uh, these ones take a little kick, uh, but as you push off, you press down on the accelerator and you're good to go. That's the accelerator um, that's right That's the accelerator there. right here. Keep in mind, you got a bell right here to make people aware that uh, may be in the way. Um, and then you also have a brake right here, and these do really work well. So brace yourself when you're braking as well. So. And how fast do they go? Um, I'll say uh, up to 15, 16 miles per hour. I think it's going to be great for people visiting, you know, maybe people staying here at the courtyard, being able to leave their car, ride a scooter into downtown to have dinner and do some shopping. Um, maybe if you have to park further away for an event, you can grab a scooter to get closer right up to those event gates to get people to maybe go visit a, a business during for lunch hour that they weren't able to uh, because it was just a little bit too far away and they didn't have time to go get out, move their car, park, go to the restaurant and then go back and find another parking spot when they get back to the office. I expect to see when we get ready to leave City Hall to go to a meeting downtown, we'll be able to use e-scooters instead of 
um, uh, maybe necessarily driving cars to get there. I see people that are coming for plays and that may have to park at a parking ramp, being able to take the scooter to the location. I see people uh, going from museum to museum for a museum e-scooter ride. You know, but like I said, our, our downtown has so much to offer. You know, in addition to the wonderful trails that we have and the connection to the baseball diamond and all of those areas, the John Deere Museum, this is just a tremendous way to get to one of the amenities to the other.